Let's take a look at this classic copter. Hi, I'm Tim, and welcome back to Bricks. Let's take an in-depth look at set number 6657, the Fire Patrol Copter from 1985. I have a lot of fond memories of this set. It's one of the earliest Legos I had, I believe. Uh, you know, it's funny how memory works. It came with one minifigure, this little firefighter. He doesn't have a fireman's hat. He has this classic helmet with the dimples on the side and the chin strap. Uh, this guy seems to be in pretty good shape other than a little wear and tear on the body. I, I don't know if that's uh, paint. You can see he's holding his little fire extinguisher here. And then he's got this great little helicopter that's very interestingly built. You don't see them built like this anymore. A lot of older pieces on this set. We've got uh, this connector for uh, the rear uh, propeller. And then even on top, we've got the great classic uh, hinge piece used a lot of times for roofs on vehicles. And then this connection for the propeller on the top here. I remember the other ones that had sort of the bars that came out. This one just goes on like that. So it's right on top of the roof. One thing I love about these older 80 sets is just the blockiness of them. Uh, a lot fewer custom parts than you would find on a set today. I love how each of these parts can come apart um, to build the helicopter itself. You know, there's not one you're seeing, you're seeing the, the, there's a couple flaws to this set we'll look at, and this is one of them. Um, but just every part could come apart and you could build something else. And that's something I have against uh, some of these modern sets is that uh, a lot of parts of the fuselage of the airplane or the train is made uh, from one giant piece that I'm sure you could repurpose it, but it's really not the same in my book. The set has these great uh, classic hoses here. I guess it's this one is uh, trying to say that it could spray out maybe some fire retardant foam or maybe some water. Uh, it's, uh, you know, it's not called a forest fire helicopter or something, but I think it could easily fulfill that role. It has a great classic fire emblem on the side. These great old hoses that were used in a lot of space sets and other sets back in the day. Just a really clean design, just with the red and the white and the black. Super clean, super crisp, uh, really tight proportions on the helicopter. Uh, just really small and effective design for what it is. I love how these doors used over 35 years ago are still in use today. They're just a classic piece that works out really well. The prop on top spins, the prop on the back spins. We've got the great old square light pieces. I don't know if they had the round pieces then, but uh, square was all the rage in the 80s. If you look at all sorts of designs uh, in cars and other household things and other design square was was the big deal it was blocky and this this set from 1985 really fits in there um, we're gonna look at some other sets later even from a couple years later and you start to see uh, a little more roundness coming into the design a little more specialized parts uh, that kind of gets away from that I want to point out a couple interesting things about this build uh, one is the rear helicopter assembly I don't know if this was common uh, I feel like it was. Maybe it's just my memory of this. The way they have this set up. Let's take it apart a little bit. I'm not afraid to take it apart. Is There's these jumper pieces on the back of the tail, the base of the tail. And then the tail clips onto those jumpers that kind of give you an offset so that this tail can be one stud wide. So that this tail can be one stud wide and then centered in the design of the helicopter. And I think it's just super clever. It's just a real great use of space. Uh, keeps everything nice and clean and gives a, a nice look to the back of the helicopter as well. While we're on it, uh, because it keeps happening, it's happened to me. I remember it happening as a kid. It was also happening to my son today as he was playing with it, my five-year-old son. These guys just keep, they just, break off way too easy. 
on here. It's a great simple looking design and it works, but when you start to give it any real kind of play, they break off. Uh, and that's kind of to go with any Lego. I don't mean to fault it, but it was just a real, I don't know if it's just the way these pieces lock together, uh, tolerances between these and these, but uh, that's sort of a flaw there. That's really the only major flaw I kind of have with this set. The only other part I would say is a flaw with this set um, are these guys, just because there's a lot of tension from this hose, they do want to pop off uh, the hooks here. And maybe there's some additional play value here where you have the firefighter using the hoses from the ground or maybe you got another firefighter as a buddy and he plays on here, I don't know. Kids are real creative. Um, my son was playing with it today like this, having it fly around and spray like that. And that's something I don't remember if I ever played with it. I don't think so. I feel like I always feel like it had to be buckled on here, you know, follow the instructions. Um, but I thought that was super clever. But as an adult, and I tend to act a little bit like Lord Business, just minus the, the craggle, um, I kind of like having it set up now uh, the way the set intended it, even though I know it's not very creative. It's just, it's part of the nostalgia for me at this point. One other flaw with the set is not the minifigure and not the fire extinguisher itself, although I like it. Although I've got another set from a hook and ladder truck that has a white fire extinguisher, which I just prefer the look of. So I don't know if they just weren't planning on doing that or if that's uh, just to give it some differentiation from the rest of the set or perhaps all the above and the fact that they, I don't know if they, they had that antenna slash joystick piece back then, but they're using the sort of top of the extinguisher slash water faucet, whatever you want to call it as the actual pilot's control for the the, uh, the helicopter. So that's that might have been a factor there as well. I'm not totally sure what the motivation there was. The pilot fits in there great. I've kind of got it apart, but just again, the proportions and the way the minifigures fit with these classic sets, um, I just think it's it's golden. I don't, I don't know that the proportions get any better or any cuter than that, and that's just my opinion, but it's just quintessential Lego, quintessential toy in my opinion. I love the creak of these old plastic parts. I remember it sounding exactly the same back then too. I love these side buckets. The print on there, it's not a, it's not a decal, it's an actual print. Just a classic clean logo. Great storage and everything. The only problem is the fire extinguisher doesn't fit in there. Now you could take it apart and put half and half in each side. Um, I had the fire extinguisher on his lap in there and that kind of worked, but uh, really that's sort of a downside when it comes to the play value of the set. It doesn't fit in. So you kind of got to carry it around or lose it or break it apart or just, you know, do the, the kid thing, which is fine and just stick it on one of the, the runners there. I love the texture on the plastic on these nose pieces. I like how the bottom isn't using the three long uh, reverse sloped underside piece. It's using uh, sort of that side one, you know, the one where it's longer here. A great way to play with it is to hold it back here. I remember doing that as a kid and um, saw my son kind of doing it today. Uh, my kids really loved how the propellers spun. I still do. <laughs> so it shows you how far that goes. One thing I liked about uh, the instructions, or at least the box art maybe was, is I couldn't quite recreate it, but they had him sitting in there for the photo and his kind of hand was on the glass. And I remember that as a kid and trying to recreate it, you know, that maybe they propped him up a little bit with his legs or something on the inside. Yeah, that's, maybe that's what they did. The top in there, but that doesn't want to close. For the photo, I think they definitely cheated. Maybe uh, took his legs off and did something, I don't know, to make it look like he was grabbing or they probably posed them a little bit better, but that's kind of the way they had it. I thought that was cute. Another thing about the build I like is the use of these white one by one tiles on the uh, propeller at the top. It just gives it a little bit of a clean look. One thing I might have added, even if it wasn't realistic, would be some blue lights like they put on some of the other fire sets. I think every little boy loves putting lights on their vehicles. Well, that's it for this little set. If you liked the video, please give it a like. If you want to see some more, please subscribe for more. We have builds and reviews coming of classic sets and some new ones as well. So thanks for watching. Until next time, let's get back to bricks.